uh, yet again, here we go. Donkey Kong Country 3. This is my... This is my rites of passage, so to speak. If, if I can complete this game, then I get to play Zelda tomorrow. I have to complete... Oh. Why does that happen? Boy, it's a good thing I do that, isn't it? Because you forget to save? No, I save! Every time I save! Anyway, um... Yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna try to finish the game. And then when I finish the game, I'm going to go to sleep. And then wake up, and then I play Tears of the Kingdom. Now, to answer questions yet again... The reason I'm not playing it at this time is because I pre-ordered the collector's edition at a Best Buy because nowhere else had it and it was like several weeks after the initial wave. I don't even like the collector's edition all that much either. It looks fine. But um yeah, that's tomorrow. Not tonight. Then why get it? I want to consume because I, I, I have a problem, is why. I just have a, I have a problem. It's... I'm not proud of it. But I'm getting the collector's edition tomorrow. I don't mind waiting one night. But I will say, driving Dixie Kong around right now, knowing that Zelda's out, is a little... A little fucked up, but that's okay. The ratings for it are insane. I'm going to combust, says a chat member. Well, it it does look very good, and it seems like people are enjoying it. And uh, I I'm going to enjoy it. But first, there's this. First, chat let's do it i get my head in, head in the game now by the way i completed advance wars today or uh, earlier as well so i've been gaming i've been gaming advance wars is completed and it is there's a video on the horizon two of them in fact of me finishing advance wars you're gonna love some of the missions if you've been following the series you're gonna love the way i did some of these missions especially the last one <laughs> He got tired of chat during it. That's actually the least reason. I know it might seem... Listen. Chat was keeping me company in a weird way. Like, I wasn't that upset that chat was getting, like, weird with their messages. It's fine. <clears throat> I say weird shit, too. That was, like, 3% of the reason. <clears throat> it's just that my streaming schedule is going to be real full coming up. And truthfully, there's not a lot of... To me, there's just not a lot of appeal to playing a game like that live. And since I was about to finish the game, instead of dragging it out further, I wanted to clean the slate for Zelda. Now, I will be streaming other stuff, believe it or not, when Zelda comes out. I will, once in a while.
I thought you could play the, um, the piano. I tried. I tried pressing buttons. It wouldn't let me. If you didn't during RE4, why should we expect you during Zelda? Chat member, I- it, my chat member in Christ. I played other things while I was playing Resident Evil 4. Now, granted, the first couple times I played it, I played it a lot because I uh, was at a convention when it came out. So I wanted to catch up on my gaming. But no, I'll, I'll be playing other stuff. I know how I am. Like, I would get bored if I just played Zelda 24 7 for like a month. <laughs> yeah, big fat fucking dicks! So I need to play other stuff to keep myself invested in gaming and streaming, and I will do that. And I still have, like, pre-record stuff and some games that I wanted to play that'll be, uh... So even if streaming is going to be a lot of Zelda, like, tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Zelda. I don't, you know, I wasn't planning... Normally I don't stream on Friday mornings. So there's gonna be some bonus materials as well, because I know I'm gonna be real addicted to it. Bonus. I felt like such a tool telling the people in the Halo game that I had to play Donkey Kong Country and that's why I had to leave. <laughs> that and of course the Vinny do the bit. And then, you know what the worst part is, Chet? Part of me wanted to do the bit. And another part of me didn't. But, like, when people like Vinny do the diaper chief, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, I want, I want them to know about this. What is that? Why is there a sick, like, desire to, to do, like, terrible, unfunny fucking co- uh, uh, Oh. The abyss. What, the movie? What are you talking about? Like, I don't even... Come on, Gormley, you can do this. Can't even see the bee! Can't even see the bee! Can't see the bee! Can't see the bee! Apple's code room. How you doing? The name's Baffle, Master of Code. I got a problem at the moment. I can't break a code I've been working on. Maybe I should reflect on it. There's so much like cryptic bonus stuff in this game. I need that ring classy right now, right now, because I need to I need to save.
I don't want to take any chances on having to do that level over again. Wait, chat, if I game overed, that level would still be completed, right? Or no? No, huh? Vinny, why no Zelda? When I could be playing the superior Donkey Kong Country 3? Chat member... I don't understand you. Someone just wrote that, but unironically. I took the bait by reading that out loud. You know that, right, chat? This cave looks like earwax. Ghost barrels? Oh. They make even scummier noises, especially with the reverb. It's impressive. There's one full sauce commenter that doesn't think I use the run button. Like, my brother in Christ. Oh. Is there anything over there? This is not running. This is running. Just the run speed is not very fast in this game. Vinny, you really say my brother in Christ a lot. I know, I really took to that one. In fact, that, that that's a tough one to deprogram. I like it. I think it's a good... I like my chat member in Christ even better. Fuckers kidding me? Okay, midway point. Spider. Boy, that would have been helpful. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. It's a good thing you caught me just as I died, because otherwise I wouldn't have seen that. That chat message would have just disappeared. But thank you. I think you gotta... Oh, right, you gotta toss me. You gotta toss me.
This is like the only time I actually want to use Tiny Kong. But what, what, what's this? Baby Kong? Kitty Kong. Yep. <clears throat> Where's that fucking spider? No spider here. Bothers me his name doesn't start with a D. Well, there's Donkey, there's Diddy. There's Dixie. There's Dixie Normus. No, but then the rest of them aren't. There's there's Funky, Cranky, uh, Lanky later on. I don't think they really stuck with that. To, oh, I don't think they stuck to that. That was like a very limited thing. That's really stupid. Kong here. I don't I don't even really care. Not worth it. What's more worth it for me is completing the level. Lightning Lookout. Uh... <laughs> Worst level in the game right here. Yeah, I mean, I could have gone all the way back to Wrinkly Kong, just in case I game over it, I could load that save file, but... I know what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna end up wasting my own life and time. Wait, is there just random lightning strikes? This is a top tier Nobunga level? predicts where you are going. I saw that banana down there. There was there's probably a bonus barrel or something. <laughs> J 
<laughs> oh man. That is some cool lightning. Oh, so cool. Cool level, yeah, cool. <laughs> this was no Bunga's ambition. <laughs> Can't even fucking. Trying, I'm trying to run. <laughs> you can't just run, the lightning anticipates your movement. That does it, I don't know. I can't do the Beverly Hills Cop theme. Or Crazy Frog, I guess. You you may know it as the Crazy Frog music. I mean it, it beats the trip back to Rinklussy. But no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be safe stating in the middle of levels. Lightning an anticipates your movement. Watch when it flashes at the top of the screen. I've been trying to. Like, I can know that it's there, doesn't make it that much easier. It stops here, at least. Kind of. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. And that's- is that, uh, insta-death? The water? got me.
I'm tr I'm trying to move erratically, as chat member suggested. So I'm hoping that will work eventually. Yeah, no, Bunga was, was fucking cranking one out late night, and he was thinking to himself, just as he was about to fucking emerge on the other side of his, his desires. He was like, boy, a lightning level would be great. And as the sandpaper that he uses to copulate himself was wearing down into a smooth surface, he said, well, I'm just about finished now. I'm gonna make that lightning level happen. If it's the last thing I do. Please. 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 I mean, it's- it's funny. It's- I- it's funny. What- what item did you get in Final Fantasy X at the Lightning Plains chat? Can't read chat now, please, please hold. Lulu's final weapon. Yeah, I remember the lightning planes really being a huge fucking pain in the ass. You know what, what strikes me as, as interesting, though? There are people out there that would say that this is perfectly reasonable and cool and good game design. Because maybe they grew up with the game and it's just... This is part of what... Maybe they grew up with the game. And... For them, this was like a rite of passage. I don't know, maybe. Maybe there's people out there. I mean... There's plenty of garbage bullshit that I played when I was a kid that I would probably defend just because I played it when I was a kid. 
But, you know, to each their own. And if you think this is a good level, I, I wish you luck in life. <laughs> That's all. I just hope life is good. Zelda 2. Yeah, well, Zelda 2 is... Oh! Zelda 2 is a different level of baby Goo Goo Gaga bullshit. As far as I'm aware, there's no lightning level. You know what? That's not true. There's actually... There's a... Okay, a couple of sections in Zelda 2 with lava, or a bottomless pit, or water, where bubbles rise from the ground, or something. And that shit can get real frustrating, because they rise randomly, and that could end up... That could end up killing you. <laughs> Am I, is Joel giving me some shit? Is, is he giving me some shit? Joel, do you have any videos of you completing this level that, that you can show me? Because I would, I would love to see you complete this level. How many times would it take you? That's all I want to know. This isn't such a big thing to ask of my friend Joel, just to see if he can complete level quick. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he can. Skill issue. Skill. This level is generally regarded as the worst level in the trilogy, for good reason. I looked at chat for uh, two seconds and, and lightning got me. Are these Kongs, like, ingesting metal? really should have given myself more time. I played Cursed Halo for too long, and now I'm in the bone zone. So, chat members, you enjoying Zelda? But they are. But them chat members are- I'm not looking at the chat because I have to pay attention to the lightning. But- But there's a lot of really, really cool chat members enjoying their Zelda that they just got. Hmm. 
yeah, I think the entirety of this level takes place in fuck butt point. One button is confirm in this game, and the other button is confirm in the menus. So it gets a little confusing. Bunga really buttered his toast with this one. Really just sandpapering down. Bunga is not happy until he's just got a like a, a nub. You know? Only then is he pleased and, and happy and proud. Just just keep sandpaper and that shit down. That's where he gets his best ideas from, too. The barrel actually kind of protects you from a lightning strike. Right there is just some some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Okay. Fucking Super Nintendo can't even keep up with this level. It's like lagging a little bit too every now and then. Too much lightning. As far as I've been yet. Binet, please play this game. It's great. Best. With. With. 
with best level. Lightning level is most challenging for real gamer who also uses sandpaper. Please, Binyet, you would love to play. <laughs> Kitty Kong is best of all Kong! Oh, thank you, God! You didn't get the bonus. Mods, can you take care of that chat member real quick? Joey, take care of him. Coin dozer clamber. What is this thing? Did someone at Rare just say, hey, what are the most annoying mechanics we could, like, conceivably put at the end of this game? Can I complain about hitboxes real quick? Please just let me complain about hitboxes, just for a second. Just a second. Come on, give me just a crumb of complaining. A crumb, chat. I know, me and Mike talked about this. The other day we were talking about the shitboxes in Donkey Kong Country. And I defended it. And I will go to my grave that these are great games. Just... DKC3 seems to have an abundance of... You know... Some pretty questionable levels. Well, what's that cool shit going on in there? Dixie does kind of make this one easier a little bit. <sighs> kind of.
It's very specific. Oh, I missed the O. Well, I just panicked. Chat, I just panicked. Good music timing. This, yeah, fucking cool idea. We, yeah, they pushed him off the ledge. Yeah, yeah, if they touched him a little bit wrong, nah, they go flying off the ledge, mate. Have you got any other ideas? Nah, we got this one. Well, that sounds like it won't be particularly fun. Nah, it'd be mental, mate. Get him on the fucking garbage pails. Yeah, they love it. All right, if you say so, we'll get him in there. Oh, I love being a game developer. Fuck, it feels so good. I use the sandpaper and everything. Get it yeah, real fucking smooth. We uh, we get we get this baby character up there, the, the main character of the game. What do you say about that? Yeah, but there's already a stigma. They call people that like Nintendo babies, you know. You sure you want to emphasize the stigma? Yeah, of course we do. Real gamers love playing as a gormless baby! A minging gobshite! Yeah. It helps, Chad. If I do the voice, it helps. I actually get better at the game if, if I do that. As I was saying, it helps if I do the voice. Yeah. <laughs> 
Only 50% through the game, chat. There's a lot more levels like that. Can't wait. Poisonous pipeline. Oh, is this a water level? Wow, is this like three trash levels in a row? What's wrong with the controls? Chat. Are the controls reversed? Why? That's fun? No, I've got a new gimmick, mate. Yeah, we fucking reverse the controls. No, it'll be fucking brilliant. No, left is right, right is left. Disorient the player. They've been going at it, bashing their head against the wall with this game for fucking hours. But now they've memorized the controls. That's why we re reverse it. Take it away from them. It'll be mental. We'll make it a water level. What, a water level? Yeah, a water level! Oh! They love water levels, don't they? Yes! Yeah, but the playtester said it was shit! Fuck them! Is down, down is up. Yeah. Actually, that's not true. It's down is down, up is up, left is right, right is left. I don't even know how I did that. You're getting real good, yeah. Boxes, though, right? I mean, it's, what pixel do you have to be on to uh, to actually get them? At which, which one? Which one kills you? It's hard to know. Second guessing every button press now. Oh. 
Oh, man. There we go, pressing the wrong buttons because I'm confused. Confusion is... Uh, yeah, the players love confusion, mate. Nah, trust me. I've made four games. All of them shit. Sorry, all of them shite. Yeah, confusion. That's the primary emotion that you want from a gamer. Trust me on this one. Oh yeah, I was making Atari games back in the day. You ever play E.T.? Yeah, E.T. I made that one, mate. Fucking brilliant! <laughs> yeah. yeah! No, it's good! <laughs> we make them real big! Real big like! Nah, Dixie's like the normal character, and we make the other one real big! <laughs> you just reversed the control. Uh, we've run out of ideas in this level here. We don't know what to do for the end of the game. Uh, we made like every other kind of thing. We've done everything. What have you got? Reverse the controls! You is a genius. Wow! That's a brilliant idea, mate! Fuck! Would you like to get some fish and chips now, mate? Look at him swim! Oh, look at him swim! Why does he have like ghost legs? Why are they? They're so like, like floppy. Look at him swim! Look at his face while he swims. Look at it. Yeah, boy. I think we've made this level a bit too stupid. No, mate, you gotta keep it going. That's the whole, that's the trick. You gotta keep the player going. They love it. Yeah, but the level's hard. Give them a one up. That way they can keep playing and enjoy their game forever. Hmm. That sounds like a nice idea. Well... Wow. 
Clive, you are a genius. The name's Clive Nobunga. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. Why was you writing that Coldplay music that's so popular here in Britain? Yeah, I might be, mate. I've changed my name to Chris Martin, though. Gonna name me son Apple. Yeah. I looked at the table, I saw an apple, and I was like, boy, that's a great name for my child. <laughs> Or wh whatever, son, daughter, I don't, I don't know. Apple Martin, whatever. Yeah, I think I might name my child Sparkplug. You know, I was in the shop the other day because my fucking ride was all busted. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, it's over. Yeah, I may go on to make a new game after I leave Rare. It's just a racing game, but the controls is reversed. Oh, fuck, mate. I'm a genius. First, I've got to record this Coldplay album now. Then after that, we go and do the reverse control racing game. <laughs> Oh, is is this the uh, is this the one? Wow, it was King K. Rule the whole time. What have you done? My wife's going to kill me. I used all her best pots and pans to make him. And then you just cast him aside. As if he were a stack of empty tins. Thought that's what he was. Wait, did Gormless just say that? Chaos was my ticket to world domination. And I'd have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. I guess it just isn't your day, is it? Well, you may have roasted my robot, but I'm the master chef around here. And I reckon it's about time your goose was cooked. Now throw a Scooby-Doo reference in there. Throw it in there. Lovely. Yes. <laughs> 
cube. Well, at least we don't have to do phase one. Why is he floating around in a little helicopter? He flies now? I don't get it. Really didn't want that to happen. As if the lightning level wasn't enough, now we have some lightning. I hate his stupid little propeller.
Great. Love getting stuck with him. Love getting stuck with Baby Kong. Really batting a thousand here. Really didn't want that to happen. <laughs> it's the last life. fast. What are you doing?
Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, my baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh. Yeah, I, well, I knew that. I knew that was going to happen. I was telegraphed nicely. And low battery. Wrong button. to save in the middle of this or no I, I don't know no I mean like can I go to the save point after this so I don't have to defeat that first phase again Didn't want to put the barrel down. I don't know why. Just hovering around with no intent. Just hoping Dixie has a heart attack, I guess. Just, just hovering around. So incredibly fun. Okay, 
I got it this time. I, I really don't um, have much else to say. So I'm just going to focus on trying to get this done. <laughs> All right, never mind. Do the rareware voice. No. No, I think... I'm going through various stages of grief, and I think the anger stage is over. And now I'm just, like, in the stage uh, of boredom. really is just busy work. <laughs> I guess all video game bosses are in their own way, right? This one's the most boring part. And I missed the- I missed the thing. I've definitely heard complaints about me not wanting to play or complete retro games that I didn't grow up with. But I guess I'm always kind of semi-afraid of shit like this. Because I'll, I'll even admit, I love Zelda 2. It's dated as fuck. And there are people that think that game is shit for a good reason. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's the nostalgia that makes me want to play Zelda 2. Not because it's some kind of award-winning masterpiece. I mean, it's got its positives, it's got its negatives. But, um... When it comes to video games with antiquated mechanics... I can... I guess I can tolerate them... for a little while. Just depends on the game and how much I enjoy it. Um, the past four levels have been pretty rough in this game. And I don't really care for this fight, like, at all. <sighs> See that fucking luck right there, chat? I have to be really careful now. Okay, now I learn new phase, or die on new phase. Wait, is this still happening?
blow my head what happened. That was kind of anticlimactic in a way. Can I just play as them instead? They're dreaming about the world's biggest pile of bananas next. I was a power crazed madman. Hey, don't worry, donkey. Thanks to Dixie, it's over. I'm impressed. That even Cranky would be after that performance. Nope, not really. Right, you go this way, kitty. I'll go that way. <laughs> well, that's the end of the game. They just beat the shit out of Cranky Kong. Well, that's nice. I know about the bonus world. I don't think I'm gonna have the patience for it. There's still the completion boss. Oh, chat members, you do realize I finished the game. You haven't. But, I have. Final thoughts on it. Um... Oh, I can't skip this. Weakest of the three. Um... Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze really ended up be, like perfecting this type of platformer. Where even Kong 1 and 2 have their problems. In my opinion. But I think Kong 2 is just so well crafted that you don't even really care. It's just such a great game. It's so much fun. And uh, again, I grew up with it. But this one... I don't feel too bad that I didn't plop the money down as a kid. Because I, I didn't have the money for this game as a kid. The N64 was about to come out. I had to save my money. Why was I going to get this? The reviews weren't great. So... Yeah, from I don't agree that it's 2-3-1. People saying 2 is better than 3, which is better than 1. I think it's 2-1-3. I know one is pretty basic at this point, and it's not like the most polished game, and some levels are also very frustrating, like the minecart level. But for some reason, I just, I like one better. I like the fight with K. Rule better. Um, this love, this game, when it had good levels, the levels were really good. But when it had bad levels, they were really bad. And I felt like Kong 1 is just more kind of consistent across the board. Aside from a couple shitty levels. So, yeah, I didn't hate it by any means. Um, but, yeah, I guess the best I could say for it is I don't feel too bad that I didn't get it as a kid. Like, I wasn't missing too much. I would like to skip this. I know, I saw Booty Bird. My tinnitus is acting up. I can hear it through the, the fucking headphones and the music. Did this game give me more tinnitus? <laughs> I 
one of these enemies is going to be called Tinnitus. I'm sorry, I just keep trying to press buttons. You know, I hate to be that guy, but compare this to the end of Mario World when you hear that awesome music and they're showing you, like, all the enemies and Mario's walking. Just... Just saying. So how many levels are are in the bonus worlds? I, I know you have to get, like, tons of coins. And you have to do, like, all the things if you want to get everything, but... There's five. Well, I don't have enough to even get... Oh, please, no more. Mario World shows you, like, several different enemies at the same time. You know, because the song actually had a start, a middle, and an end. And so I think they were like, let's just show the enemies, like, like sit, you know, five to a screen at the same time. Oh, here's a bunch of pictures of similar bears now. <laughs> oh, boy. These classic characters. I swear to God, if there's a bear without a B starting its name, I'm gonna riot. Good, okay. I was gonna say, if there's just one random bear named, like, Clive... ...after Clive Nobunga... ...then I'm out. You know someone, like, fucked her to death before Donkey Kong 64, that's what happened. Between this game and DK64... It was an amorous heart attack. No, it was- it was supposed to be a good time. The problem is, her heart- heart couldn't take it. I mean, they could have maybe just, like... I don't know, ran the names while they were showing the characters, I don't know. David Wise's additional music, what did he do? 
do like one song maybe? It's amazing how many of these names I do recognize though, just from years of playing product. He did two. Club. Koji Kondo. Greg Mails. Yeah, these, uh, all these names went on to do a lot of N64 stuff. Conquer. The only reason I'm waiting for this to finish is because I want to, like, see the full ending. And I want to see if I can get one bonus level to take a look at for five seconds. Wow, even Wrinkly Kong did better than me. Ratings, cheesy chimp. Um, where's the bonus world chat? Do I have to do wacky stuff to get it? You have to do wacky stuff to get it. Oh, so I didn't need to see any of those credits. Go swim around those rocks outside, okay. These rocks? These? That's a different secret. Oh. These, what, like outside of them? Hold Y and- yeah, but then you- you get stuck on walls. Counterclockwise, okay. I hope they don't mind me getting stuck on stuff. Do not hold Y. So many baffling fucking decisions. supposed to learn about this from the bear fetch quest. Well, I've officially unlocked one level. It's 15, I think, 15 coins per level, so I could have gotten two.
It's an it's an auto runner, yeah. Oh right. Um, yeah, try one more time and then I'm done. Y and O, but no K. Whatever. All right, there you go, chat. I did it. I did the one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Don't don't hate the game. Don't love it. It, it was about what I expected. A little better in some spots. A little worse in others. And uh, it's over now. This was my final task before Tears of the Kingdom. So, tomorrow, probably fairly early, I don't know when exactly, as long as my- I have to actually pick up my pre-order, like, it's not being mailed to me, um, as long as they have it, and I'm able to grab it, I'll be back, probably, you know, I'll be streaming, um, something like, I don't know, noon or 1 p.m. So... We'll see. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching. It's been a weird one, and thank you for the birthday wishing uh, wishes. And... Uh, the birthday wishings. And please, chatty, update... Update your fucking program so it stops crashing. That would be really, really cool. Good night. See you whenever. See you tomorrow.